things. First weird thing was that um, students were getting the disease, but the teachers typically were not. So they were like, what's the deal with that? Because usually, if we're in the same classroom together, and I'm a teacher and you're a student, and you're sick, you get me sick, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, so, long story short, they did some interviewing, they talked to people, and they tried to figure out what was going on, and they found out that a lot of the people that were getting sick were either A, very close friends, or B, were dating each other, and were hugging and kissing and everything else. And long story short, because we have limited time, they found out that the disease that they were getting was called mononucleosis, which is shortened usually for, anyone know? Mono. mono, thank you, mono. So maybe you learned about this in middle school, maybe you didn't, I don't know. But the way we usually term it is mono. And mono is basically a really bad illness you can get, kind of like the flu, but way worse. You usually miss like, usually miss like two weeks of school from it, really, really bad. And it is spread through saliva. How would you exchange saliva with somebody that you're not kissing, you're not doing anything else? First answer is, <laughs> Yeah. What are you gonna say? Tell me. No? Uh, yes. No, no. Sorry. Of uh, drinking from the same yeah. cup as them. Thank you. So that's a good easy one. Drinking from the same cup. You have a water bottle, you pass on your water bottle, that's saliva. Okay. What were you gonna say? Oh, same thing. Same thing? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I have braces, so if you work up a lot of saliva, and like let's say you say like a word with like a T or something, and you accidentally like spit on them. You're not wrong. <laughs> it happens. It lands on their lip or something, and then they lick it up. Boom. They just licked your saliva. That, that's kind of it happens. Crazy. It happens. Sometimes I, I talk, and, I just, and something comes out. <laughs> Give me something else. Give me something more like plausible, though. Something that's more common. Um, um, uh, I know. Yes. Sharing lip gloss. Why do people do that? You're going to get... Perfect. Sharing lip gloss. But what's that got to do with the boys? Oh, they share Carmen. I never heard So, we're going to use these pipettes and we're going to stick them into our solution. We don't know if it's disease solution or not. And we are going to pass this and share this with somebody else. So you're going to take your saliva, quote unquote saliva, and you're going to give it to another person. Take your pipette and squeeze the capsule at the top and keep it squeezed. Don't unsqueeze until I tell you. Now, dip it into yeah. your liquid. So that it's submerged in your liquid and now unsqueeze so that it sucks up that liquid into your capsule and you got a nice full capsule full of liquid. Is your pipette full? All right. We're good? All right, here's what you guys are going to do. Ready? All right, we're good. Next, what you want to do is you want to find one person at your table. One person. And you're going to exchange saliva with them. But, wait, wait, wait. It has to be an even exchange. So if you give to them, they have to give to you. So it has to be two people together, okay? And when you do that, find out what their number is and write it down in the next slot for, for, for round one, okay? So write that down in the next slot. Make sense? All right, go for it. Share some live with somebody at your table. And make sure you write down their number. Exactly this amount. Right here. Hey. person from this table is going to find someone from this table and exchange, okay? So you should all have somebody to exchange with, okay? So find somebody in exchange and write down their number, write down their number. You guys, these two gentlemen are going to exchange with you, okay? Um, so why don't you two exchange with them? Yeah, with them. Change and make sure you write down their numbers. Just because you said please. Let me start again. Well, that's what I How do you feel? Alex is kissing you in like a verbal. Don't forget that part. Very important. Write down the person's number. Uh, 
First time we did this, we started with one person who had the disease. We don't know who it is, but one person in here had the disease, okay? That person gave it to somebody else. So by the end of the first round, how many people should have had the disease? Two. Two, good. Um, so, two people had the disease now. We're going into the second round. At the end of the second round, how many people should have the disease? Four. Four. Good, because those two people give it to two more people. And right now, by the end of three rounds, how many people should, in theory, have the disease? Eight. Eight. If we did things correctly, should be eight. Good. Um, so, now we gotta test it. So, I'm gonna give you this indicator solution. It has a cap, so you're gonna have to screw the cap off. But all you need is three drops in your test tube, and then stir up your test tube with your pipette to make the color spread out a little more. If you are having trouble seeing the color, which you probably won't, but just in case, Put your test tube against the, the white on the paper and it'll show the color much better, okay? Again, yellow or clear means you're good. Blue or dark green means you had the disease. It's pretty scary, they're like the moment of truth. I swear. One drop. Three, two, three, two, three. Two drops. Three, three drops. Three, 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 I swear. No, I, guess I got yellow. Okay, we're, I'm good. I'm gonna have a disease. I know I have a disease. <laughs> I don't have a disease. I already know I have a disease. It's gonna be you're good. You're both good. It's gonna be from Sal. Sal has a disease. <laughs> I swear I saw me. Sal has a disease. She's good. Whoa. She's good. It's, it's, yeah, it's Mel. How much is that? It's a shirt. No, but I'm gonna have a disease. I got dark green. You missed. No, me and me. No! It's because of you! You don't know what you're talking about. Pass it on, pass it on. No, I bet you it was because of you. It's because of you, Sal. I it, Sal. <laughs> I should have never I mean, Sal. No! <laughs> Sal didn't even see me. I knew I couldn't have kissed you. 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 Oh, I knew it. Oh, safe. Yay. Oh, my God. You can have the DNA yet. It's not DNA. It's okay, baby. Let's share Disease here, anybody? Yeah, Blake, because Blake was the culprit. These two got the disease. Wait, wait. These two don't have the disease. Blake, you Number six. Uh huh. Uh, number, uh, what, what? 
Twelve. I would suppose you're number twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Okay, so it's either six or twelve. 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 So we think it's either six or twelve. Uh huh. One. One. That's Dean, right? Okay. <laughs> Six, twelve, one. Raise your hand if you think it's six. I probably gave it. Raise your hand if you think it's twelve. Raise your hand if you think it's one. <laughs> Tell you what, the majority is correct because it was six. Ah, <laughs> So six started it, and then I assume that six passed it to. Who did you give it to, Blake? Okay, you gave it to her. I gave it to her. Remember? Gave it to her. Okay. Then how did it get over here? They had it. I gave it to Dean. He gave it to you, and you gave it to them. Wait, so how did I give it to Dean? I don't know. How did you guys give it to Oh, and she gave it to you. But how did she not give it to Dean? I did. Did she? Oh, she gave it to you. Did you share with anybody who had it? It's a Rufus. You oh, they hold you high I thought last. I don't know. Who's the last person? Alright, pause. Last thing I need from you guys. Ready? Pause, pause, pause. I need you guys to just finish the last two questions on there. Write down a solid answer. And then we're pretty good. Hope you had fun. That was pretty cool.